Hello guys, welcome to the course Learn CSS3 from scratch. This course is the second course in a step by step web development series. The first course was Learn HTML5 from scratch. I hope you have already been finished that course. If you haven't completed that course, then I would request you can finish that course. But it is not required. If you have knowledge about HTML5, then you can directly take this second course if you are interested to learn CSS3. So guys, this course I have made in a step by step manner so that you can easily follow this course so let's jump into the topics what are the topics we are going to learn in this course so guys this course contains near about 41 topic and all the topics is core topic of CSS so let's look into those topics. we will be starting the course with how to run the HTML file so that it would be really easy to run the HTML file whenever you create any HTML file and you associate the CSS once you understand that then it would be easy for each of the session now our journey will start with knowing what is CSS once we understand that then we will proceed further and look into what actually browser default style is once we understand that then we will proceed further and look into the CSS syntax it is really very important to understand how to write CSS so once you understand the CSS syntax then you can easily write the CSS files after learning the CSS syntax, we will look into how to add CSS file with the HTML file. So we will look into the ways. What are the ways available to associate CSS file with HTML file so that it will apply the styles to the HTML file. In the same aspect, we will also look into the step 5 where we will exclusively understand that how we can use the external style sheet. Once we understand that, then we will proceed further and look into the comments in CSS, how we can write comments in CSS file. Then afterwards, we will look into how we can target elements so that we can apply the CSS style sheet to that particular element. Once we understand that, then we will look into what are the classes and IDs and how we can use the classes and IDs in CSS. After that, we will proceed further and look into the cascade and the conflicts, how we can manage the conflict within the CSS and what is the nature of the cascade is. Once you are comfortable with that, then we will also discuss about the inheritance in CSS. This is one of the important topic in CSS. Once we understand that, then we will proceed further and look into the selector specificity. After that, at step 12, we will learn about the important declaration where we will learn about how to stop overriding behavior of the cascading style sheet. Once we understand that, then we will proceed further and look into the targeting multiple elements so that we can apply styles in a one go. Once we understand that, then we will proceed further and we will look into descendant selectors, what our descendant selectors are and how we can write descendant selectors to apply the style sheet. Once we are happy with this thing, then we will proceed further and we will learn about child selector. After learning the child selector, we will look into the adjacent selector and afterwards we will also look into the attribute selectors. So these are various type of selectors we are having in CSS which we are going to look into one by one. That is really important. Once we are happy with the attribute selectors, then we will proceed further and we will look into pseudo selector. Once you learn the pseudo selector, then we will proceed further and we will look into other variant of pseudo selector that is hover active visited pseudo classes. Once we understand that, then we will look into other category of pseudo classes that is first and last child pseudo classes. Once we get the understanding about first and last child pseudo classes, we will look into first of type and last of type pseudo classes. At step 22nd, we will look into nth child pseudo classes that is really very important. Once we understand that, then we will look into nth of type pseudo classes at step 23. Once we understand that, then we will look into combining selectors. And at step 25, we will look into universal selectors. This is one of the global selector which will be used to resetting the global styles and then applying the custom style to the HTML file. After learning about the selector, then we will proceed further and look into the style font size and the font family. After that, we will understand about the text decoration, how to do text decoration. Once we understand that, then at step 29, we will look into font weight. Once we understand font weight, we will proceed further and look into text transform. After understanding text transform, we will look into how to change the color of the text or say how we can use the 
color property of the CSS. Once we understand that, then we will proceed further and we will look into a styling link. After understanding a styling link at a step 33, we will look into how we can provide the letter spacing and the letter height within CSS. We will look into that. We will look into paragraph spacing, how we can achieve paragraph spacing within HTML file. Once we understand that, then there is a very important concept that is called the box model. We are going to have an in-depth session about the box model. Once you understand the box model, then I can say that you have completed 80% of CSS3 learning. After understanding the box model, we will discuss about the margin, how to manage margin within CSS3. After that, we will look into padding at step 37. Once we understand the padding, then we will proceed further. We will look into borders. Once we understand the borders, then we will proceed further and look into block level elements and, and inline elements. Once we understand that, then at step 40, we will look into width and height properties within CSS3. And at last, we will discuss about backgrounds, how we can apply background within CSS3. So guys, you will find this training is one of the in-depth training of CSS3 on internet. So I would recommend that you have to complete the entire training from end to end. Once you finish this, then you are ready for our course 3 in a step-by-step -step web development series. So on this note, I am stopping over here. See you in the course. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.